डॉक्टर अनुषा हंद्राल कंसल्टेंट डायबिटोलॉजिस्ट थायरॉयड स्पेशलिस्ट एंड एंडोक्रिनोलॉजिस्ट एट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल्स वाइट फील्ड टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट थायरॉयड डिसऑर्डर्स नाउ व्हाट इज अ थायरॉयड ग्लैंड इट इज अ बटरफ्लाई शेप्ड ग्लैंड व्हिच इज लोकेटेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ अवर नेक इट रिलीजेस हार्मोन्स कॉल्ड एज थायरॉयड हार्मोन्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर फंक्शनिंग ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी सेल ऑफ आवर बॉडी one is we have hypofunctioning thyroid gland or hypothyroidism what we generally call there is another entity called as hyperthyroidism where there is excessive functioning of the thyroid gland there is excessive release of hormones into the blood circulation both of them needs to be treated and definitely there is a good treatment available for both of these conditions if not treated it can lead to lot of uh, problems and can lead to poor quality of life now hypothyroidism is the most common condition which we clinically encounter first and foremost common symptom what we see is uh, exceed fatigability extreme lethargy tiredness uh, they may have constipation cold intolerance hair fall feeling of slowness uh, unnecessary excessive weight gain uh, in females we see lot of menstrual cycle irregularities or difficulty to conceive so if any of these symptoms are present it is wise to do a thyroid function test after discussion with your physician once we get the reports we will start on a thyroid medication and with the thyroid medication patient usually improves and it requires a regular follow up hyperthyroidism is a condition where there is excess release of hormones into the blood circulation uh, we evaluate it and find out what is the reason most commonly what we see is a autoimmune uh, in nature hormones are excessive and uh, that causes palpitations sweating excessive weight loss tremors in the hands or jitteriness or feeling anxious sometimes people can have swelling in the neck they can have their eyes uh, you know protruded they can have protrusion or bulging of the eyes so uh, these are few of the symptoms terms of hyperthyroidism so uh, we do a thyroid function test and based upon the level of hormones we start on the medication and these patients also require regular follow up hypothyroidism if adequately treated and if you have reasonable normal thyroid function test on follow up you will not have any issues associated with hypothyroidism 